Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered how you would move a giant crocodilian? This is Zula La, the big alligator move. Okay. Hang on, here we go. Yep. This is a baby West African dwarf crocodile. Whilst I can hold this little chap quite easily, moving one of his cousins, who is a thousand times bigger, is going to be slightly harder. So Maddie, this is Daisy, our female American alligator. We've actually just found a mate for Daisy after looking for nearly two years. Amazing. So we're uh, bringing the male here. We need to catch her today and relocate her to a new exhibit. The idea is to create a captive breeding pair and uh, that way we can educate people about the whole life cycle of, of yeah. crocodiles. So how do you capture <laughs> uh, very carefully um, and if you want to join our safety briefing with our croc team yeah. then we'll talk you through it and you can join in if you want okay here yeah you go. let's yeah. go for it okay then daisy we want you in the water now please in the water in the water Water. She's really loud. It doesn't sound like she's making the noise. It sounds like it's a sound effect, like it's playing. Do you see what I mean? Come on. Daisy. I really want him to get his hand out of the water. Daisy, good girl, wait. So Daisy's been stick trained and she responds to her name, but since she's settled in this enclosure, she's become a lot more feisty. <laughs> Which is good because that's how they behave naturally in the wild. Come on, girl. Go on over it, Dean. Unsurprisingly, I feel a lot more at ease now that Daisy's mouth is taped up. Right, Maddie, ready for you. Yeah, here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, Maddie, if you can go round to behind Jamie. That's it. Underneath her tail and wrap it into your body. So you kind of have to lean down right on her. And then after three, we're going to go up to our knees. One, two, three. <laughs> right, again. One, two, three. Then out we go. Okay. See you. You all right, Maddie? Yeah. But just how big can a crocodilian get? Well, Daisy measures 2.06 metres in length and weighs 70 kilos, but that's nothing compared to the biggest croc of them all. Saltwater crocodiles, or salties, can grow to be over 5 metres in length and weigh over 900 kilos. So Daisy has a bit of catching up to do. So uh, what we're going to do now, guys, is pick her up and put her in the crate, ready to take her to a new enclosure. So that was my first introduction to an alligator. Pretty crazy. Daisy's so strong and really heavy. But next thing we need to do is just make sure that she gets into her new enclosure okay. And fingers crossed that's all gonna go well. <coughs> and then up on your feet. And we're just gonna walk her in. Right, we're going to walk around to underneath them lamps, look. We're going to go right down. We're going to release her now. She's relatively calm, but the release is sometimes just as dangerous as the capture. So if, you, if you're ready to go. All right, ready, go. Okay, 
jaws are off. Sure, and genuinely cares so much about Daisy. He just wants to make sure she's all right. It's a good thing though, she went straight into the water, so she's settled. I'm not really surprised that she wants to hide away from everybody after going through that. Yeah. Whew, um, Sean and the rest of the zookeepers have now gone off to pick up Daisy's new boyfriend, Albert, and I've just found out that Albert's actually about a metre and a half bigger than Daisy. I'm genuinely quite, quite nervous about helping to move Albert and yeah, I hope they get on, that's for sure. Crocodilians are apex predators and will eat just about anything they can get their very powerful jaws around. And they can digest pretty much anything too. Teeth, hooves, horns, skin, innards, it all goes down. And once they've had a good meal, they can go months without eating again. We're back here at the zoo, collected the alligator who's in the back. I'm sure she's gonna be very shocked, especially when she sees how big he is. I was expecting him to be big, but he's huge. He is, he's a big boy. He's um, so much wider as well. Yeah, American alligators are really, really stocky. This is not as fully grown as uh, he potentially could reach. They yeah. normally reach um, uh, sizes of around four metres. A whole other metre he could get in his lifetime. We think he's only about 18 years old. Really? Yeah, so we think. he's a teenager. Yeah, he is really, yeah. Because he looks like a dinosaur, he looks so much older. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can see these great big um, jowls. jowls around his neck. No mistake in, uh, he's a male. Females don't um, have anywhere near as big a jowls as this. Are we ready to move him then? Okay. Cool. Is everyone ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, then. One, two, three. Then <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep, now. Yep. Okay. Everyone ready? Just held a dinosaur. Physically restrained a dinosaur. So muscular. Really interested to see how Daisy responds to Albert being in the enclosure. Okay, the tape is off. Team one then. One, two, three. And me and Jamie, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Let's go. It's been two weeks since Daisy and Albert first met and I'm back to see how they're getting along. Thank you for having us. Um, it doesn't actually look like Albert's moved much since the last time we were here. <laughs> um, it took him about four hours to get into the water that day. Since then, they've kind of interacted quite a lot. They've been swimming around each other, um, rubbing noses. Oh, so they're getting along? They're getting on really, Excellent. really well, yeah. Two days ago, we actually heard Albert bellowing, which is a sign that a male alligator is calling for a mate. So. Um, they're getting on very well. So that's that's quite exciting. It's very exciting, you know. If if we can, if we're able to breed these guys, it's great for uh, some of the conservation work we're involved in, and also it shows uh, the general public they grow from these little tiny baby alligators up to this huge monster. So big hopes for this pairing. Absolutely, yeah. And I think that you know the early signs are great. Okay. 
I have had the most amazing time over the past couple of weeks with Sean and his croc team. Honestly, I never thought that I would have been allowed to get so hands-on with an alligator. And I really do have a new found respect for crocodilians. Now I appreciate how strong and powerful they are, but at the same time, adore that they're actually lovely characters. Daisy in this new enclosure now is just so curious and she's so playful and that's brilliant to see. And Albert's just as chilled as ever. I have high hopes for these two and fingers crossed in the future we'll have some babies. That's it from us and we'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged.